we are going to learn git with github so these are the two different things we must understand but we have to use it together so what is git why do we need a git how git works how to work with the git you know along with the github i'm going to cover in this session so the question is what is git so if you under if you want to understand the git you have to understand the versioning concept okay versioning concept means see you modify the one source code over the period of time so source code you have a hundreds of files hundreds of sub directory you modify this files source code over the period of time by multiple people in the team so how can we keep a track of it who is the person who modified at that time what modification was made why modifications were made where exactly that modifications was made when it was there so complete information about if we want to know about the history okay so that is something which we have a versioning concept so some of the versioning uh, tools which we had uh, in the past started with sccs rcs cvs svn and all now we have a git these are the open source category but apart from that also we had a many tools uh, in a commercial categories like uh, perforce clear case uh, you know dfs and many more actually we had it. so these are the some of the histories of uh, you know tools development you know that's not important for us time being okay so git is born in 2005 april 2005 any guesses who's linus torvald <coughs> any guesses who's linus torvald <coughs> am i out of it creator on git yeah but he is also father of something else also so linus torvald is the father of linux also he is the one who created the linux the uh, git also so git was developed it was meant for the replacement for bitkeeper so bitkeeper was also one of the versioning control tool which uh, linus and team were using for storing the source code of a linux kernel so this is the things now yes Git is a distributed version control. So, what is the meaning of distributed version control? We need to discuss this one again. It's open source, and it's a free software. Now, Git is compatible with all the operating system. That means you can install anywhere you want: Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever it is. And because it's a distributed version control, and its architecture is developed in a such a way, so it is faster than other SCMs. We'll discuss that one in the topic. so git is popular so look at the number of uh, git repository at github okay so github is launched in 2008 to host git repositories and you can see the popularity of the git 2009 2011 2020 and so on okay so who can use the git so primarily anyone who wants to version their source code they can use the git in a simple way if i say uh, git is suitable for the files which can you can open in the notepad simple you can read the file like any code file which you which you see that but there are certain files which you can read it for example word docs and all but this is not suitable for git why because these documents are are executables format actually so you, you though you can store it uh, in the git but the versioning if you want to compare let's say to doc file or to spread set file to pdf file to image file to movies file to music files font files and all you cannot uh, compare so it's not useful for the versioning context but still you can store it so git is distributed so what is this what is the meaning of it so we need to understand this one very carefully so here first before understanding this uh, distributed concept we need to understand the server and client concept okay so let me create one server here this is the one machine 
and then here we have one repository now this repository uh, is is managed by some other software which we can call it uh, CVN SVN CVS and all kind of thing purpose and all so here this is the server you have and this is you have repo and this is you have a software which manage that repo. now repo primarily what you have so repo you have a files the one which you store the code and the database or meta information who what when all these thing kind of things meta information about the code committed this one so let's say if you want to if you want to get this code any certain version version of the code from this repo so this is the ip address this is the password and you will set up a client here client means your laptop and here you have a laptop here you have a laptop and here you set up a client here you set up a client and you will you will take the one code from here to here and then you work on the code and you i must you must remember this line for anything like adding the file modifying the file deleting the file branching the file merging the file viewing the history of the file for everything you need to make a server call because history is here in this repo for everything so here you have copy of file copy of file and you work with the server so this is the server and client model at this model only we had a cvs svn pofos clear case and other tools based out are you confirm are you okay with it all of you uh, Rajesh, we hear a sound i don't know if everyone hears on ping pong <clears throat> one ping pong noise is coming uh from my side uh, uh everyone is getting because i am in a kind of uh, a room where it's like complete no, no, no not from silence. the room but i think from your system i don't know is others hearing i don't know no, I'm not getting any disturbance. Okay, maybe it's my side now. Maybe, maybe you can rejoin this one. It will be okay. Sometime it happens. Okay, so guys, are you okay with the server and client model? This model. So here, how many repos we have? Only one. Remember, in the server, and that is managed by the software. Are you okay with it? So guys, here in the distributed model, what we have in a distributed model, everyone, let's say there's one laptop here. There's one laptop here, one laptop here, one laptop here. In a distributed model, everyone has a repository. See here, if you're working, you should be having repo, 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 repo. <laughs> so if you compare between the server and client model and distributed model, so here you have only one repo. And that is hosted at a server and everyone is using client to connect to the server and modify the code whereas in distributed model here also we have repo here also you have repo here also you have repo here also you have repo and you will work this is you you will work in the local repo that means if you want to version your source code you will work in the local repo so this that means every time when you want to add edit delete branching merging viewing history of files you will do the through against local repo not through the repo which is located at server so that this model the right side the one which we have in the get case this is called distributed model and distributed architecture are you comfortable now All of yes. you. Uh, so two people can modify the same repo at the same time. No, no, no. Only one person. Those who is owning this laptop can modify this repo. Okay. This can be this person can modify this repo. So that means those who is having control of this machine can modify that repo from the local itself. So uh, in that case, uh, how is the uh, thing happens across this repo? Yeah. Somebody modified so, the same same line, same file. Huh. So that is, time. so that is the question which I am keeping on hold. That is a 
questions answer i'm keeping on hold and i want you to wait for 10 15 minutes we'll discuss on that but but in git we have a local repo and everything when i say everything except sharing across the team we do in the local repo that means if you have access to that local laptop you have access for everything Okay, so this is something which we have. So now the question is, how do we get started? So guys, which is called one thing which you call it a Git workflow. Okay, so this workflow we have to follow. Now this is a improvised version. I have it in uh, uh, here also. So I'll show you. So I, I think it will be easier for you to also follow git workflow so here um, this one i'm talking about okay so git basic workflow working with local repo you have uh, everything in recording so you can get it so this one so what you have to do so first thing what you have to do install the git this is a one-time activity git client so how do we install it so this tutorial has been given you the sufficient data to get it but it's not that great work actually so you will go to git scmcom and you see download the executable exe file or msi file next click next next finish that's all so get it installed so if you are on linux machine then you will use the yum or something like that okay so yum means yum install git and here you have yum install git or apt install git so here this is for ubuntu linux okay so that should be done okay so this should be done so you install this git now now in windows specifically when you install the git you will see that on the command line also you see this is the command line git can see in the PowerShell also after installing it Git. but I'm not going to use the command line in PowerShell though I can use it but I'm going to use one utility which is called git bash so when you install the git <clears throat> the same way then you get one extra utility git bash this is the one so what is a git bash so in a simple way if I say git bash is on a kind one of a kind of utility which is where you can run basic linux command <clears throat> in windows itself yes git bash so first of all bash so it's a bash console you get it that means you can run a linux command in windows itself and primarily it was developed by git for using the git in effective way actually so color combination see no matter whether you use the command line powershell or this console git bash console command line everywhere that is everything will be same the visualization will be good in git bash so because of visualizations i'm using git bash okay so what do what do we do in this case here i will go and create one directory this is a, a one directory which is called git and inside this i'm going to create one directory more here i am calling repo one so what i would suggest work in the empty repository that is that directory that is the best thing to do so now you have repo one and here here you i'm going to create uh, open up a console so here git bash is there which i am opening up automatically it will take this path desktop git repo now this here you can run the linux command i must tell you basic linux command will work where so it should be okay so what to do so now after installing the kit which is a step number one you have a step number two what is step number two so you have to create a git repo by the way it's a one-time activity remember that this image each one of you those who want to version the source code you have to create a git repo okay so how do we create a git repo so this command will do that git in it and this will create a git repo okay so this is a step number one two so let me create a git repo in this directory which is called repo one get in it and this is the empty repository 
you have created <coughs> see here so by default this directory will be hidden actually but here what i have done here i have showed the hidden files that's the reason it it is showing you done so that repository is created so simple now what do you want so here of course you have come to get for versioning the source code right without that it's not good so you want to version the source code so you have to create certain files folders or whatever it is which you want to version the source code now how do we create it code i mean i don't have to tell you here you can use notepad you can use vi editor you can use eclipse you can use visual studio code whichever editor you are comfortable write a code simple write a code which you want to version so here i am going to write a one code and this is a one code i am writing it which i want to version file dot one dot java just see now and here i am going to feed some code here one line two line three line don't laugh this is my code and done but this way if i write in demo because i need to write a lots of code it will get delayed so there's a one shortcut command which we have is in linux touch file to dot java this will create a file quickest way okay. so this way i have a three files so far is my code which i want to version it so this is a step number three are you okay with it all of you Are you comfortable with it? Yes. Okay. So now this is something which we have. Now step number four, what we have. So step number four, we have, who are you? So you have to set it up. Mind it. You are working in the local repo. You don't need a user ID and password for working with local repo. For example, to access your local files in C drive and D drive, do you need a password for it? Of course not, right? So same way. So if you are working in the local repo, you don't need a password for it. Okay. So what? But still, you want to set your identity. Who are you, right? Who is committing this file? Who is versioning this file? So Git allows you to set up an email ID and a name. Actually, that command which you have selected using that, you can set it up. So let me set it up. This one one time activity for your repo paste enter so basically you set it up and then if you want to validate this whether it's a set or not which is set go a little bit down and the last two line which you see is this one so this is also done now guys you have to add these files to get so whatever the file you have created Control X. So, for the file you created, I want to add it to Git. That's a process. In order to version, you have to add it to Git. So, here Git add file name you have to create. So, add file1.java. I add it. Done. After that, what you have to do? You have to commit this. So if you commit, then only the version will be done. So let me copy and commit. So this is the command for commit. This will be difference, whatever hyphen M message why you are committing. Done. This is the one commit I created. Remember that how many lines we had in the code? Six lines. Six is Samson. One file change has happened. So this is the first commit I did for this file. Here I added, here I committed. Simple. Now, versioning has been done. Now, do you want to know the complete details about the history? Because version has been completed for the file one. See here, logs. Okay. So, this command will tell you the history of committed version. Okay. And there is one more command which you have git show. And this is the commit ID which you should put it up. Look at this here. If you filter this information, you will get all the meta information about the committed history. Let me show you. 
see is who is committed this file what time it was committed when it uh, why this is committed okay what is committed where it is committed that's root location okay complete details you have it so here also in this image i try to depict say who what why where and when complete information you have it and that's a git is doing it versioning your changes and so on so for that what you did add and commit add and commit are you okay with it all of you hello yes okay now you might have noticed one thing when you commit see there's one id get generated okay so whenever you commit this id will be generated what is this so this id basically we you can call it a commit id or you can call it a commit hash also so this is the 40 character value created by shawan algorithm for what so that id is identification for that commit so if you see here i put show that means identification number for that particular commit okay so wherever you see that id is a commit uh, id for that that will represent your commit whatever the code you committed that will be represented you can call it it's a unique it's a 40 character sha value but you can put it in a short wolf short format also for seven characters or something so that is also you have to understand so more or less this flow we have completed so far so good all of you what about staging concept you I'll will come, back. come. Okay. yeah okay so now guys the most important thing is so see this is a very simple one we create a file using any editor add commit create a file add commit that is what you will do in the local repo Sim simple thing but what is the meaning of add what is the meaning of commit okay what is the meaning of add and what is the meaning of commit and for that you need to understand something which is called let me open this image here Look at this image very carefully. You want to know what is the difference between add and commit. So here, if you see that the repo where you have a source code, this is a source code. We call it workspace, work directory, workspace. Okay. Who is working on it? Human is means you and me will work in that directory. And you see here, this is the repo one. In this, there's a few files. I'm working on it this is my repo and if you see that little bit later this is the your git repository and this is where the your commit will be stored your commit your version your things will be stored dot git let me show you that dot git here it is don't try to get into these folders and files it's not useful for time being until you want to explore the git internals and all so that is stuff so here you have a repo and here you uh, here you have a workspace and here you have a repo are you okay so far are you okay so far yeah. okay so guys repo also we divide into two part okay one is staging one is repo yes so this dot get is also divided into two part staging and repo now the question you will ask what is the difference between staging and repo so understand that what we do in order to version the source code we add it and commit it and commit is creating objects this object you commit id one commit two commit three commit four commit five commit like that so but that is there in the repo so before getting commit id before committing the changes we do add why we do that so add we do that so understand that here you have so many changes so many files in the work directory 
workspace but you don't want to commit everything right all the all the changes you don't want to commit so anything which you want to commit add that file and it will go to the staging area okay so see here there's a workspace there's a staging area under the dot kit okay and this staging area is basically you can use as a temporary resting place to review what will be committed what will not be committed okay so staging area is a way to you can say work on it the the files which will go eventually go to the repository so here you will review the commit area whatever the commit is supposed to be done and mind it when you commit i must repeat i must uh, ask you to focus anything you commit the files is not been taken from the workspace, but it has been taken from the staging area. You see that arrow staging area. That means the workflow in the Git is very, very simple. You modify the source code. You have a 10,000 of files here. No problem. You modify the source code in this workspace area. Whichever you want to commit, you keep adding it to staging area and end of it before commit review the staging area and only commit the files or something which will be which you want to version that so staging area you can say is a temporary buffer area in order to decide the commit or not commit are you comfortable all of you uh, okay uh, it's uh, a couple of questions actually yeah so um, uh, that means like uh, if, even though it is not a new file, which is uh, we are, the file which is modifying, that also we need to add. Yes, every time, whether it's existing file or new file, you have to add. And that's the reason you might have seen this. I ask you to focus on uh, some whenever I committed, it was the six insertion. So basically what is happening, I don't want to complicate that, but right now Git is not storing your files. Git is storing your code. So let's say, put it in this way. Uh, I don't want to complicate just for understanding purpose. This is the one file and this one line, two line, three line, four line. So first time you add and commit. So these four lines will go and create one object here. Next time you modify the same file. So basically these files, this lines were not there so this lines again you have to add it to staging and from there you have to commit and this will be a second commit so same same file same map okay but the content will be different okay, okay. got it so you, every time every time you have to add and commit every time no matter whether you have modified the file whether it's a new file whether you deleted a file whether you you know move the file every time you have to add and commit okay and uh, second question um see is it uh, the repo and the staging can be on the different uh, machines right this possible no right? no these all are in local repo this is image you remember this all are in this repo here this repo i'm talking about Okay, and see including here. staging. See, this is in the same place. It cannot be in a different locations. It's a hard code. Okay, okay. So that means uh, every uh, you know client machine would have a repo. That's what I said. Everyone has to create a repo. That's what I said. No, that's called distributed model. If you want to version the source code, you have to create a repo. Now, probably you will think, Rajesh, how can I share with each other? That answer I'm, I'm having on hold. So you okay. have to wait for okay. it. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. So now the concept workflow is, workflow is, guys, this concept you have to remember. This image you have to remember. Remember that every time you modify in working directory, then you move to the staging area using the git add and from staging area you move this file to repository for object commit how do i see which file is there in the staging area which file in the working directory and all so the command magical command is git status so right now if you see if you read this this is says hey do this that means these are the working directory now git add file to dot java and here you see this file is in 
working directory, but this file is in staging area. They're saying, hey, if you want to unstage, you can run this command. Okay, so this is the way you can find out get status. So let me show you one image. Look at this, this image. So if you see that, it's a new file, but which is unstaged. So this is in staging area. You see file 4.java, understand that file 4.java, it says untracked file. That means still in working directory, not in stage. But if you see the in between, there's one file 1.java, which is modified. And this is the C. What is Git is saying, hey, I have this file already version last time, but the content of the file is not added. So this still in a staging, I mean, working directory. So the file is known to Git, but the content which is modified is known to not known to the Git. So they are keeping in the no, uh, not staging means work directory area. So if you add it, it will go to this area. Okay. So this is the Git status command. You can you can work with it. Okay. So now are you clear, all of you? What is this uh, this one? All of you. Hello. Yes. Yeah. So always keep in we mind. Try while to working. do something by ourselves. No yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah. Practice which has to do. So guys, there are few scenarios which I have put it up while working with the local rep. How to add all files. So here I added one files at a time add add and all so how to add multiple files so you can use this command this will add all the files to staging area but there's one more scenario let's say you have a multiple file in staging area but you want to commit only selective files think about it so if you run this command the selected one it will commit all the files which is in staging i repeat it will commit all the file which is in staging but if you want to commit only selective file, then specify the name of the file and it will be taken care. How to commit directory? So understand that directory is meaningless in the empty directory is meaningless in the get. So if you want to commit a directory, you have to create a directory and inside that you must be having files actually. And after that you can add and commit. Okay. How to modify the existing file, modify the file. And again, you have to add and commit. Okay. So this is done. So now let me do the some of the commits quickly. Okay. So git status git add all git commit hyphen m second commit done. This is my second commit. Touch file four dot java git add all git commit are you adding all are you okay with this uh, commit i mean code three commands put it together it will create one file add it commit it are you okay with it hello yes okay. yeah so there is one more file i'm committing so multiple file i'm committing okay file five File six. Commit, I, commit message. I should give it something different, but not following the right specifications right now. Seven. So guys, total I got the seven commit. Get log if I see, see here. So this is a one commit and this is a seventh commit. Adding all, adding all. That was a mistake. But seven commit. You want to show in the simple one liner. So get get log hyphen hyphen one line. You can see that simple liner, small. See, so these are the seven, seven commits I did it. So right now, this is the latest commit. So if I do the git status, it says everything is committed. Though you have all these files, but there is no changes which has not been version. This means everything has been version by git. Okay, so this is how you will work. But the question is, see here understand try to understand that we are doing versioning for what what region so here you have stored one version two version three version four five 
so sometime in the future you will go and check the older version that is the reason you are doing versioning right okay so how do we get the older version so remember that i must remind you there's only one workspace where you will work whether you work with the latest or older version this is the place okay and this is you are working so how do i get let's say <coughs> there's a these are so many commits has there but i want only up to this one so if you go for this one you will get this one and this one automatically parents will come if you go for this one all this thing will come parents will come all parents so let's say how do we go to this state look at this how many files you have seven so there's a one command get checker and commit id this one commit id shortcut you can use it and you see here they're saying hey you have version you have rolled back in the workspace in the workspace i have got the see here opposite way check out okay so older version you got it so now what you can see get locked see only up to three commit one two three and you got it now you see the files see only the files see earlier we had a files which was seven six five and all it's not there so you see here now you want to go to the last one so get checkout master master is a branch name and now you got to last one here the the flow is see very simple flow this is you you modify the files here add it commit it modify the files here add the files here add it comment it in future if you want to go and see the older history check out this is the flow you will always do that are you okay with it all of you so uh, check out will delete the files or what no no wait wait why it will delete the files think about no you have a version see you are getting this one so you'll get all this thing in workspace but this will be in the repo no repo so again if we check out master you will go to the last one everything is version history it's like a time oh. machine time machine for you you can go in the past you can go you can create a future you can go in the past you can create a future that's how to create a future by committing it how to go into the past by checking out okay how do you reverse a commit we have a many commands one by one we'll talk so guys how to go to the old version commit this command will work and if you want to go to the latest one this one if you want to delete some file then again you have to commit and then status so these are the workflow typically so right, uh, the... Uh, just just if you give git uh, check out the file name then just just the uh, master only right not the latest one. not file name uh, you have to give the commit id name file name is not having any relevance in in git everything is identified see you want to go back to the history right so everything is identified by the commit id which i said okay okay so guys this is the workflow local workflow working with git so every time you have to modify add commit checkout add commit checkout add commit checkout and that is how you do the versioning. So this is all about working with local repo. Means that is in my laptop. Okay. So this image is good. I will talk about it. This image little bit later complete. But if you see that here, remote repo I have not discussed. I will discuss in some time. So this part I have covered so far. This part. Ah, this one also. got it all of you have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching